Hey, New Life family. My name is Calvin Barnes. Uh, my wife, Brynn, and I have the awesome privilege of being the campus pastors of our BB campus. Shout out to my BB fam. Uh, it's an honor to serve and it's an honor to be talking uh, with you today. Uh, we're going to talk about prayer today. And when I grew up and I would hear people talk about prayer, it seemed like this obligation almost, not this thing that was to be enjoyed and experienced in a life-giving manner. It felt like this religious obligation. But let me tell you something, that is not at all what prayer is meant to be. Prayer is meant to be a conversation between us and God. And I wanna help you today to maybe grow a little bit in your understanding of prayer. Paul wrote in Philippians chapter four, starting at verse four, he says this, he says, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. He says, let your reasonableness be known to everyone because the Lord is at hand. Don't be anxious for anything. Is that difficult for anybody besides me? Don't be anxious for anything. Come on, Paul. Give me a break. <laughs> but he says this, but in everything by prayer, it's communicating to God, taking things to God, and supplication, which is asking something of God with thanksgiving. This is important. With thanksgiving, we're going to get to that. Let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I love this passage because it sets the tone for what prayer in our life should look like. The first thing that Paul tells us to do is to rejoice. He repeats himself and again I say rejoice. Why is this? And I think it's because we tend to tell God how big our issues are. We tend to exalt our issues if we're honest sometimes above what we're maybe sure that God can do. And I think it's important, and Paul is saying this, that the first thing we do is rejoice. Jesus taught us in Matthew chapter six, in the Lord's prayer, he said, pray then like this, our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Why did he do that? Because Jesus started out his prayer, his pattern of prayer for us with praise. And I think it's so important. David said this in Psalm chapter 77, starting in verse 11. He said, I remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. I will ponder all your work and meditate on your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. What God is great like our God. You are a God who works wonders. You've made known your might among the peoples. Why is it so important that we start off like this? It's because we don't need to tell God how big our problems are. We need to speak to our problems, how big God is. And so when we do this, I think when we it sets the tone when we begin with praise that we know that the biggest thing in our life is God, that everything else is subjected to him, his strength, his will, his power in our lives. And it gets our hearts and our minds aligned with the word of God so that we can appropriately bring our prayers and our supplications with thanksgiving to God. I think it's so important that we, for, we, don't, rem, we don't forget how important that praise is in conjunction with prayer. It's important that we go back and I call them historical markers with God, where we remember things that here this happened, then God or but God and this happened and he did a miracle and made things work out for his plan in my life. And I can tell you 10 or 12 weeks post-op, I am healing so much faster and so much better than I should be. And I can tell you it's because of the prayers of my family, my church family, you, and my, our trusting God. And I, I, I'm just so grateful for that. And I have so many things throughout my life where I can look back and say, God has been so good to me. He, he did this, there was this going on, but God, and there's something about doing that when we bring our prayers and our supplications, our, our asks of God, 
that it helps us put them in proper perspective. And then it helps us not to be anxious about anything. And then we see when we bring these requests to God that he gives us peace that passes all understanding. How is that possible? Because we have this history with God in our prayer lives and in our walk with him that we see that he came through. There's an old, old song that says he'll do it again. I believe that. He will do it again. If he's done it for you before, he'll do it again. If he's done it for me, he'll do it for you. And proper prayer and the perspective of praise in our prayer helps us to trust God and know that he is bigger than anything we face. And when we have that praise perspective in prayer, we can receive that peace that passes all understanding and have our minds and our hearts settled on the fact that God is good, he loves us, that his plans for us are beyond anything that we could ever imagine and that he will work out his will in our lives. I love you. Have a great day.